with a minifigure, uh, let me know. I, maybe I'd like to buy that from you. Surely I'm not the only one who watches unboxing and collecting videos. Surely not. What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to talk about the terminal and what the terminal is on your computer and why you would want to use it in terms of like code. So like if you have no idea what a terminal is and you're like, hey mom, dad, you got to use the terminal, don't even try it with your grandparents. They're going to be like, what is that a, is that a new, I don't, I don't know what they would say, but most people have no idea what a terminal is. And when you think of a terminal, you might think of something like this. But in reality, it's something like this. So let's take a look on the computer, what the terminal is, and how you can use it, and why you would want to use it, and how it relates to code. Okay, just something real quick. For whatever reason, my voice levels are in outer space today, so I tried really hard to normalize them and make them not blow out your earbuds. So here we go. All right, so we're looking at my desktop right now, and I'm on a Windows, and if you're on a Windows, you can hit the Windows key on your keyboard, and you can type in CMD, command prompt. This is a terminal, but the terminal that comes with Windows by default is actually pretty crappy, and a lot of commands like PWD, for example, means print working directory. It shows like the directory that you're in doesn't work. If you press LS for like list the files that you, for the folder that you're in, that doesn't work. So the native command prompt for Windows isn't that great, but for Linux and Mac OS, they work great. So uh, if you watched my previous video, I talked about getting this program. It's called uh, Git for Windows. And you can get this for Windows at git-for-windows.github.io. And then once you download this and install it, it will give you a new terminal that is better than the Windows and use the same commands as Mac OS and Linux does. So once you download this and install it, you can then right click in any folder that you want. So uh, if I want to go to my tutorials where I make these videos, uh, I could come in here and I could right click and then I can open git bash, which is the terminal that we just installed. and then you don't have to like navigate around your computer using this to get there you can just right click and instantly go there versus if you didn't if you didn't start there you'd have to navigate there so for example if I open up git bash from my desktop and I want to get to this folder where my files are I'd have to navigate I need to see where I'm at so I'm at my desktop I need to back out PWD is print working directory. You use that one pretty common if you want to see the path that you're in, like in your computer. So CD is change directory. Dot dot means go back one. So like take off desktop and then go to just Josh. And then you can do that again. Or you can do that again. And again. You can do it once and then you can type in where you want to go, but usually you're not doing it that many times doesn't take that much longer to do. And then I want to go to H, so CD slash H. So this was A, which was this hard drive where my desktop is, and then we want to go to H here. So CD slash H. I don't know where I'm at exactly when I jump into this directory, so I can uh, list all the files out. So just type in LS. You can list all the files out. And I want to go to YouTube. And then, what, what, what do I have in here? I always forget the order. Then I want to go to tutorials. And you can press tab to autocomplete once you start typing one out. If there's two things that start to match, you'll have to type one out more than the other and then press tab. So then where do, I, where do I go from here? And then I can go to terminal. And boom, I'm here. Now if I wanted to make a git repository here, you would just type in git init and then it would add this folder to become a new repository and then you could start tracking your files and folders like you did in the other video. You can also, this is where you access like Composer for PHP or NPM for JavaScript, you know, you know Node Package Manager, things like that when you want to get libraries you type in NPM install but it would install NPM uh, locally to this 
this folder here. If you wanted to install npm to your entire, if you wanted to install npm to your entire computer, you could uh, type in npm install dash g, which means global, which means it will install it to your entire computer. Same thing for a composer. Same thing for just about anything else. And then if you were to change dash d uh, add dash s to this it would be save sometimes it doesn't save so npm install to the whole computer dash s and then that that's it so i think these are really all the commands you need in terms of using a terminal just how to navigate around your computer you can also create files on a mac you can type in touch and then make your file name and then hit type in like hello.txt and it will create a file called hello.txt in wherever you're at on your computer at that particular second but uh, that doesn't work for Windows. Windows I think is echo but I prefer to just go to the folder and then just create the new file there whatever I'm doing I think that's faster than typing out especially if you already have it open on the side but the main commands you need to know are pwd, print working directory, change directory, and then you start typing where you want to go, and then change directory dot dot, which will take you back one folder, and then ls to list everything inside the folder that you're currently in. Those are pretty much it, and then everything else that you will use for web development, it will tell you on the website, like what do you need to install it and then it'll say open terminal and type this in or it'll say dollar sign something but you, know, you can see the dollar signs already here and uh, that's all you really need to use the terminal so if this video helped you at least a little bit make sure to leave a like if you have any questions or comments I, there's a lot of commands that I'm not talking about in this video and if you'd like me to elaborate on them just make sure, make sure to leave a comment or something and I'll get back to you if you want to see more videos like this uh, hit that little bell and subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate that a lot uh, I have a Patreon if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.